All right, this time we're going to palpate the nerves in the lower extremities. We'll start anterior um, aspect of things in which you can see. Uh, starting proximally on Sarah here, we'll go with the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. You lift your shirt up a little bit. You're going to find the ASIS, which is the big prominent bone right here on the pelvis. You're going to dive just a little bit medial, go right back towards the bone again, and then you feel that right there. Okay. Not much going on in the thigh in terms of nerve palpation, but next spot we can go to is right um, in the posterior knee. You can palpate several different nerves in this area. First, I'm going to do tibial, and that's going to be a little bit closer to the semitendinosus and membranosus. Um, if you do more of a straight leg raise, it can kind of pop into your fingers if you're not sure that you're on it. Plantar flex and dorsiflex the ankle, but I'm on it right there, and then you can pop it out a little bit more, and that would be it. Okay. Um, if I want to do the common fibular nerve, I'm going to go a little bit more laterally to the biceps femoris. And same thing, as you um, extend the knee, you'll feel it pop right into your hand if you're not sure you're on it. Plantar flex and dorsiflex the foot, and I'm on it right there. Okay, And you can even go a little bit closer to the fibula and, and feel it as well. It's probably a little bit more intense there. If I want to palpate the saphenous nerve, you're going to find the uh, tibial uh, plateau dive posteriorly and it's just right behind the tibia there and that one can be a little bit um, sensitive as well so I'm right there on Sarah. If I want to do infrapatellar branches of the saphenous, again these are really hard to palpate exactly um, but what you're going to do is have them in the figure four position like I have Sarah here find the inferior aspect of the patella go medially on the knee and then you can feel just a, a few of them right here, but again, these are very superficial, so it's a little bit harder to palpate, but sometimes these can be um, sources of potential um, complaints. Moving down the leg, if we go to the foot. There's a lot of good nerves here. Easiest one to palpate is the superficial fibular nerve. That runs uh, on top of the foot. Sarah, as you can see here really nicely, if I pan plantar flex and invert the foot, you'll see this little string going right here. You can strum it just like a little bit of a, like a guitar string. Um, you can see that moving right there. And it shouldn't be a, any discomfort at all to Sarah, which is good. Um, if we're staying on the front side of the foot, you can palpate the deep fibular nerve. You're going to go right on the PIP, dive laterally, and go back towards the PIP, and then you'll feel a little bit of a zinger right there. Okay. If I want to do the sural nerve, I'm going to dorsiflex and invert the foot. This one is posterior to the lateral malleolus, so I'm going to go right in there, and you can palpate that all the way down. Okay. And then one more time that you can, or one more place you can palpate the uh, tibial nerve. Look at the other leg. This time it's going to be posterior to the medial malleolus. So, medial malleolus is here. I'm going to dive posteriorly. You can, if you're not sure you're on it, dorsiflex and evert the foot because that's going to lengthen it. And right about there, you feel it moving. Okay. You can also look at the bottom of the foot too, and you can find the medial lateral plantar nerves. And those are just on either side of the calcaneus, so like right in there. Yeah, that one's not too comfortable. And then the same thing with the lateral, it should be right in there. And that's all the nerves of the lower extremity anterior side.